Fucking Chuck kind of kicks ass. Yeah, I forgot about that show entirely. That show is really fucking good. I'm glad I'm watching it. I watched it years ago. I've seen. I think I've seen. I think I've seen Chuck like five times, maybe start to finish. And I watched it again like three ish years ago. And I kind of was wondering I put it on the other day. I'm like, is this going to be too soon to put it on? Three years is a long time. Like, sometimes certain shows, you need, like, a 10-year digestion period in between viewings. Mm. Turns out, Chuck, maybe it's a three-year <laughs> magic number. I don't know. Maybe it's going to be every three-year kind of show for me, you know? When we were watching that thing the other day, the guy was, like, going through how the show was this and that and, like, breaking down each season. Mm-hmm. I was watching. Like, I remember some of the highlights, but I was thinking, yeah, that show was, I guess, pretty cheesy. I probably wouldn't want to rewatch it again. And the other day when you put it on, I was like, you know, I'm pretty good. Like, you were on. like, yo. Ellie's fucking gorgeous. <laughs> yeah, she really is. And you're like, God damn, Captain Awesome is fucking gorgeous. <laughs> and what a what a fucking sexy couple. Yeah. That's why the show lasted for five years. That's why they couldn't cancel it. The video was talking about how like in season three they did a they they did the the, the basically the four chan for Chuck. Whatever their subreddit was, uh, they were uh, they decided to do a campaign where they'd all like go buy subway sandwiches in honor of <laughs> Chuck. And I guess they, like, I don't, I'm not trying to like core. I mean, maybe they, maybe they, maybe like they were instructed to go tell everyone like, hey, this is for Chuck, and then they're like, we got to report to corporate. This is for Chuck. Yeah, I'm an idiot. I just assumed they did it on Twitter. I'm so no, fucking they, stupid. They, they, they wasn't even around then. Five dollar footlongs. Like everyone, their their campaign was like, don't you love Chuck? Isn't it worth five dollars? So the everyone's like, go buy a footlong, and then Subway, the company, was like, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Hold on a second. We just did seven billion dollars in profit yesterday because of some fucking lowly show on NBC called Chuck. You guys aren't canceling it. NBC executive was like, "Damn it, we were this close to canceling it again." And the following year, they're like, "All right, so we got its fix, right? Mm. It's full. They don't need any more advertisements. We have a whole year of just Subway being the big sponsor of the show. We're going to cancel you." And then the Chuck fans again were like, "No, no, no, no. You know why?" Because Chuck loves America. <laughs> and they were like, we're going to donate to the American Horror Foundation on behalf of Chuck. And Chuck, it was like a $500,000 donation or whatever. Wow. From all the money they raised or something crazy. It might have been $10 for all I remember. I don't know. I highly doubt it was $10. But apparently the national, the news picked that one up. So, and that's, there's a bunch of reports where they say, like, you know, like jerk off, knock off, you know, whoever like the local channel ABC7, you know, that mm-hmm. version of Matt Lauer or whatever, the local <laughs> version is like, uh, American Hearts today. Uh, no, uh, the good shy of America shines bright today when we found out small town fans of NBC <laughs> show Chuck donate over five hundred thousand dollars in a campaign to the American Heart Foundation to save their show. Dude, that was fucking spot on. <laughs> and so that happens. So then they, that's how season four happens, and then the show got canceled. I guess. I guess by the time season five wrapped around, the fans were like, you know what? It it can go. It had its life. Yeah. What the fuck happened there, fans? I don't know. You guys couldn't rally another fucking cause. And the writer strike ruined season two. From the like, like every single turn, they're like this show's going to get canceled in any second. How many have we watched? Six. I don't know. I'll start with the first disc is. I would assume six. Quality first disc. That. Yeah, honestly, I've had this. Uh, minus that one episode. Minus that one episode. I've had this dumb smile on my face the entire time. I know. Time, the last minus days cool hazed fucking just being like. You know, I, I'm smiling lucky. for like 10 minutes straight before I realize I'm smiling. This I know, show just got me show. so happy. And did I mention like uh, how attractive Ellie and Awesome are? Yeah, you mentioned that. I mentioned it, right? Everyone's like, are they really that attractive? I'm going to look up. Oh my God, they're that attractive. Yeah, it's you mentioned it, I don't think you really sold how attractive that those two outfit, dude, are. Where, where, where should I even look? Left or right? You know, just back and forth, up, down, looking everywhere. I'm going crazy. I mean, I was looking mostly left, but I get your point. I was looking at right quite a bit, too. <laughs> right and down. <laughs> um, but no, the show's phenomenal. It really is. It's a, it's a, it's a classic, uh, fun little romp, as they call them, you know? I like watching it, too. I like going back through the whole... Like the way that we, the guy in the video mentioned the way the music was like a nice combination, yeah, combination like of these classic music, 80s like this cool and indie stuff, indie music, and then it's also very two thousands dated. And like you know, I miss a lot. You know, what made me think about lot, watching the show that made me really miss. I miss when everyone had different cell phones from each other. Yeah, because they keep having people walking with these phones. It's like yeah, here's some random company. It's this weird phone that flips to the left. And this one flips upward. This one just slides. This one opens up horizontally. This one's vertical. And this one has this one spins. 
I remember when I started eighth grade, I had a flip phone. And I had a cool Prince of Persia mobile game on nice. it. Nice. Like that mine game. was just a flip phone, and then, like I remember the one kid I, I first started becoming friends with had like a BlackBerry, and the other kid had that one that like you just said you click up and it slides to the left. And like, who? They did, were, did, it was like did, it was did, so did cool. Brian have that one fucking the razor, phone? The razor, the one that the razor that slid. Yeah, that yeah. Was Brian awesome, had dude. that. Phones yeah, it was so, so fucking cool. cool. Yeah, they really. Not yeah, what has the a fuck? fucking iPhone. Dude, it's f- fucking disgusting. Like I said before, you were saying how the fans rallied for Chuck. I was like, I, I forgot that they could. Like you were saying, I'm like, how they even do that? I just assumed they did it on Twitter. Okay, what got, is it, some Twitter thing? I forgot Dude. there was variation of phones. Like I'm forgetting everything about our past, man. Yeah, it's no, not man, good. It's, it's bad. Fucking and there's and then also it's it's so refreshing watching a show that's not like talking about like you know, <laughs> look at the YouTube counter. <laughs> Check out what I saw on Facebook and Instagram. Bro, what are you guys like, Snapchatting. All those fucking buzzwords. It's fucking sickening because it's like, when did that? I don't understand when there was randomly a, a turn in the writers' room where they were like, we should be very, 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 very cognizant of what day of the week it is. Yeah, but like they're talking about whatever is a fad right now. But they just did that scene with fucking Lester and, and Morgan doing the TV thing, and like they're making shows that are on currently. Yeah, so but like, they feel stupid. That's my point. Like that's what I'm getting. At. Like they were, they did they were make well, that's the other thing to too. It. No, also because it's like they're right back then. Shows we talk about other TV shows, and everyone's like, oh yeah, shows are a cultural thing we all share. It's annoying because nowadays shows talk about fucking TikTok, yeah. and it's like. TikTok's been around for two years, guys. It hasn't been culturally accepted as this thing that we all share and all love. Stop fucking trying to make... It's like they make them... Stop making fetch a thing. It's that entire (laughs) fucking mentality. Whoa. Whoa. It's okay when you reference Mean Girls, but when I reference it, it's super lame and not cool. Yes. That's bullshit. No. I think it's a really unfair precedent that's been set somehow. I don't know who said it, but I think we should unset it. No. I took it into account that's what that pause was for. I was thinking, I was weighing options, and the answer is no. I get to do whatever I want, whenever I want to do it without thinking twice. And you get to do a certain amount of things that I can change at any point of time without any explanation before you do it or after you do it. That's so interesting because when you <laughs> took that pause to take things into account, I also took a pause to take things into right. account. And you're I not allowed to do that very... anymore. You're actually not allowed to do that. Well, that's weird because I came to that, the opposite actually. conclusion. You're no longer to, you're not allowed to. Actually, that's the first thing you're not allowed to. If you weren't late, you would know that. Okay, the first rule of Ace's rules is you cannot contradict anything I say. We're going to have to, like, reconvene some notes here for this, because, sh- like... Rule number two. <laughs> there was no reconvening of anything post-show recording. All right, you know what? I'm going to take charge. We're going back to Chuck now. Mm-hmm. Okay, we're not talking about whatever uh, dumb rules you said you I'm not going to take with. charge. We're talking about Chuck now. <laughs> okay. I think I love that one, but we can we can say you're you actually, That's the number three. You're not allowed to think that either. Actually, this, is, this, is, this is the thought police. Where it's the thing where, like, it's the, 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 uh, we were fighting that country last week, but now we're allies with them, so we never actually fought them ever. We're never fighting against them. Yeah, I want to tell my I want to tell my music thing because we always do this little thing where we unlock little memories, and I had a memory unlocked watching it. Fucking the first time I ever heard a song by Spoon was on Chuck, and I remember the episodes. I think it's like season two or three, but he's running down a hallway in some fucking building, and they slow mo's and they start playing "Got Nothing" by Spoon. And I remember thinking how cool that fucking song was, and like I, Shazam wasn't a fucking app back then, so I had to go online and type it in. And I don't think Too Fine Tune Fine was around either, so I had to type it in, go to the episode, hopefully find it on a form or something. I'm not that old, but whatever the fuck the fuck, you know what I mean? It was yes. it was harder to find it. It was a lot more fun trying to find music back then. It really brought me back to that time of fucking just enjoying hearing new songs. It was better when it wasn't at my fingertips. It was more magical. Yeah, I agree with. I felt that. Like I was discovering something. It was it was, it was cool to relive that that feeling of watching Chuck just. Wait, now. that's the nice part when you're going into. That's the fun part about watching shows that you've seen in the past because it kind of to an extent brings you back to all that and everything. Mm-hmm. And, um, like I said, it was fun seeing the fucking different kinds of phones it's fun when everything is not apple and like they're pulling out these random gadgets throughout the store like oh look at this thing or this thing this thing where we mentioned the having a zoom and everything was mm-hmm. it a, Z- a zoom remember zoom, the zoom? Yeah, zoom remember that one year where that was a thing in like 2007 mm-hmm. it's crazy times we're living in back to the phone thing like remember how fucking the cold that cool orange phone that like you fucking click the buttons and it also rotated yeah, the, other way? the lg voyager which slid up yeah yeah, yeah. The phones, yeah, were so phones were so fucking, fucking cool. sick phones and i were had awesome. the first version of the droid which was uh, basically the the, the touch screen then you slid it to have a yep. keyboard for no reason yep i thought i was the hottest fucking piece of ass around with that phone i Dude, thought it was so honestly, fucking cool that's cooler we need to go back to having like i don't know why they were like no touch screens are quick touch screens are cool but you know what's also cool actual physical buttons you can type and yeah. press and feel yeah i miss having that yeah touch screens kind of blow honestly, honestly Fuck Apple, dude. Yeah. Fuck iPhones, and all. It's everyone has the same phone now. We're just, we're just every day. We're one step closer to just being fucking shaved heads with barcodes on us and everything else. Okay, mm-hmm. we can't all have the same phone. Okay, we have to draw the line somewhere. Some of us should have fucking that one. And some of us should have this one. I'm we going, need to have more variety. I'm going to the nearest Nextel store, mm-hmm. and I'm going back. And the yeah, one of those walkie-talkie phones. Yeah, where's Radio Shack? Where are all these places? Did okay? you know how cool those fucking walkie-talkie phones were? 
You know, yeah, I do remember that. That was the coolest thing in the world. It was literally a walkie-talkie. Yeah, they, they were, those were brick. Those were fat fucking phones. Those were the coolest things in the world. Uh, it all went downhill when fucking Circuit City went out of business. Yeah, that it, it used to be Best Buy and Circuit City, which was a nice little fucking you know balance in the world. Mm. And then now there's just Best Buy. It's disgusting. There's too much blue and not enough red. All right, isn't that isn't that something we've all heard before? <laughs> isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> And we all know Best Buy is just a mob front because no one shops at Best Buy no, anymore. Yeah. I think all stores are actually just mob fronts nowadays. It's the whole the greatest trick the devil ever pulled was convincing the world he was dead. The greatest mm-hmm. trick the mafia ever pulled was convincing everyone they, you know, they left. <laughs> they just literally run everything. Every single thing. <laughs> Every single thing is run by them. The only reason our, our economy has any form of stability is because the mob is just controlling the economy. It's definitely not the fucking you know, guys who run our fucking companies. They're morons. It was a long pause. I thought you were gonna, I, that was a really long pause. I thought you were going to say. I thought you were going to say something. I thought you were going to say something. Well, I didn't. So we have to fill. We've talked about Chuck now again. So thoughts on Chuck? And as we're done talking about Chuck, well, I don't know. Thoughts on Chuck? I'm fucking loving it. I, I, I and I, I, I really. When we saw that video, I really, like I said, I thought it was gonna be way too cheesy. And like all of the cheesiness that first of all, it's not even that. The cheesy. only cheesiness so far is how bad of an actor Matt Bomber is. Yeah, Matt Bomber is definitely the type of person who is very good looking. Not as good looking as Mr. Captain Awesome, wow. but he, he's still very good looking. That's tough. That's like, it's a real Sophie's choice. I don't, um, Matt Bomber's probably prettier, I'd say. Yeah, he's got the dreamy eyes. He's got the yeah. nice hair. Yeah. Uh, Captain Awesome is just hotter. Yeah. That, Captain, Awesome's, Captain, Awesome's, Captain Awesome's body, that, 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 body is, yeah. yeah. Captain Awesome is carved it's, by the hands awesome. of Michelangelo. Yeah. Fucking, uh, yeah, Matt Bomber only got the role because he's good looking now. It's very apparent. There was the no, more there was he no talks, acting you realize, like, oh, one. he's not good at that talking like, Oh, you're thing. sexy. That's why you're in this? And also, it's like that part where he says to fucking, uh, to Chuck, <laughs> when he says, hey, man, mm-hmm. it's like that didn't come across like you were friends. It came across like you were hitting on him. He probably was. Yeah, it came across like you were like, hey, man, what's up? What are you doing in that book, smart guy? You're, you're too pretty to be that smart. That's, how, that's what his expression was like. No way someone as you know pretty as you, Chuck, could be so smart reading you know, C++. He actually had one moment in that episode that was in a, a decent acting when they did the, the fucking reveal of how he actually was trying to help Chuck what the whole time. What an emotional reveal. That was, pre- yeah, that was actually pretty good. Chuck, it's like, whoa. Bryce got me kicked out of school to protect me? And I'm not a Matt Bomber fan, and I forgot all about that scene. So as we're watching, every time he pops up in anything, they mention like, Bryce. I'm like, God, I don't care about Bryce. We not talking about Bryce. But then, and then that scene, came, I'm like, God, I wish Bryce was on the behind show. Behind those baby blue eyes, yeah. you get the emotional heart. Like, Matt Bomber's such a good actor. He, he Can he come on the show Chuck. now? He was yeah. like, Chuck's too good for this. I he thought the show was CIA missing. Agent. Yeah, the show was missing something. We need more Matt Bomber. That's the problem. Yeah, that's that's the problem with most shows. I thought watching it though that I was going to think that it was too cheesy. I thought, but like, there's nothing really cheesy about it. But the cheesy elements just feel Are so endearing, appro- yeah. yeah, exactly. It's endearing. It's the fucking universal controller and the, the the, the you know seeing the nice plasma tubes where everything was LED. Yeah, going and back thin to and slim. yeah, going back to all the times of things prior in yesteryear. Fucking the only reason we're watching Chuck again is because our Wi-Fi went. I out. I know, and I'm so glad our Wi-Fi went. That's, out. It's great. Remember it's when awesome. we didn't have Wi-Fi? You do. Remember, I remember the time when I was like, "What's Wi-Fi?" You gonna give me an example? You should keep saying what? What? Why? Remember? Remember? You should keep saying. Remember we didn't have Wi-Fi. Remember? Like, remember we didn't have Wi-Fi. Remember we didn't have, we didn't have Wi-Fi. Though? Like, remember it? Remember we didn't have. Like, remember wi- we didn't have no, Wi-Fi. No, Alex, hold on a second. You remember when we didn't have Wi-Fi? No, I'm getting to an example. Think about it. You remember when we didn't have Wi-Fi? Yeah. <laughs> okay. That part I remember. Remember when we had to like hardwire the Xboxes? That's before Wi-Fi, bro. What do you mean hardwire the Xboxes? We used to have an Ethernet cable going to one of the Xboxes. I don't remember that now, actually. You're too young, bro. You don't get it. The 360 never. When you mean the original Xbox? I think so. Maybe I made that up. I, I think know. you did make that Maybe up. I, up. We, I don't think the original Xbox we had Xbox Live on. And uh, the 360 never had the Ethernet cable on the back of it. Before we had the, the nice reveal of Matt Bomber's acting and character, though, his That's best... That's interesting. So when you're proven wrong, you just you ignore it entirely and move on as if that never happened. We were just talking about Chuck oh. the whole time. I'm yeah, yeah sure my bad, my bad, my bad. I think you spaced out and just my paying bad. attention. Fucking that pool scene when, when they do... I think I guess the episode started that way when Chuck's leaving Stanford... And everyone's staring like, oh, God, Chuck, it sucks you're leaving. I really wish I know, and then Bryce is like, Bryce is like <laughs> I'm the tough guy playing pool. You brought it by yourself, Chuck. <laughs> he sucks. He does suck. But that one scene's pretty good when he's defending his boy. He's like, my boy's too, he's too good for this place. He's too good for this school. I think the coolest cat, though, on Chuck is by far Casey. Yeah. Casey. So Adam cool. Baldwin's the bomb, dude. Fucking, he needs Animal to have mother. more of his resume besides Chuck and my bodyguard. And, 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 and Flamel and, and Jack, Jack, the thing I'm I just sorry. said. You yeah, fucking yeah, you're right. I'm sorry, I didn't hear I you. I said animal mother, and you're like, yeah, 
I didn't hear you say mother. I just heard you say animal. Like, why did you mention my bodyguard? <laughs> What's your favorite uh, storyline to come that I get to look forward to with Chuck? I have, um, probably the uh the the guy who played John Gotti in the HBO Gotti, Armando Sante. Don't know who that is. He comes on and plays like this very flamboyant terrorist that thinks Captain Awesome is a spy. Okay. And it's like a three episode arc. I remember the episode of Captain Awesome being the spy. That's I really good. The villain, I look though. forward to that episode. I thought you were going to say all this. the Brandon Routh stuff. Yeah, I'm not really looking forward to that. Either. <laughs> I don't care about that. Superman at all. can't fly. <laughs> Super- Fucking, I'm looking most forward to Scott Bakula, I think. I Scott Bakula is really good. Linda Hamilton is not very interesting. Lauren Cohen's really annoying in the show. But at the same time, uh, the, the the one true James Bond, Mr. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No one calls him that, Timothy by the way. Dalton. Dalton. He's phenomenal in the show. He is the uh, the one and only false Bond. No one, no one actually likes the fact that he's a Bond. I, don't, I like it quite a bit. I actually can't stand Timothy Dalton. Oh, my God. I'm fucking so tired of this. This is such a weak episode because it's like it's 11 at night, and I'm just like watching TV at this point. And I was like, oh, we have to record today. We have to upload it right now as well. So this is just like now you're just staring at me. Because I like how you just decide to just like go, no, actually, you know what? We're going to interrupt everything and just say how bad this is. We're going to go get rid of all flow. <laughs> doesn't matter if Robbie's middle of well, a sentence. Well, it doesn't matter at all doesn't because doesn't all that happens on YouTube now is we look at it on fucking six hours. Like, oh, we got 50 views in 60 We got 50 views in six hours. That's kind of cool. And then I look at hour seven. It's like, oh, you only have six views. Yet for some reason, now you've lost 44 views miraculously. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with that, but yeah, that actually is making it really so hard. Why should I even care the recording is? Clearly, it doesn't fucking matter. That's true. We the only have. thing we we we, get, we just get views taken away from us. Right, I have no bird. I have no bush. God has taken my bird, and God has taken my bush. Yeah, you're right. Fuck this. We're done. I'm yeah, good. you know what? It's gonna be a 16 minute episode. All right. Yeah, we did. We did an hour one. We did a 50 minute one. Fuck it. No, we can talk a little longer about Chuck. I guess for the oh for, now, for, now we no, can. No, 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 I'm really so glad you took that fucking pause. See how fucking shitty the episode was, so we can just go. You oh, know let's what? Just talk you're a right. Longer. We'll end it right now. Are you, you going to click the button? No, I'm not. We're going to keep talking for that few minutes. It's 16 minutes, 17 minutes. We got, you can get three more minutes in here. Yeah, well, now I don't have to fucking talk about with Why? Because I don't know. <laughs> I, I was on a little bit of a roll, I thought, but then you're like, I don't this think episode you sucks. Yeah, exactly. I don't, think either, but to be fair, I don't think either of us was. You know, whatever. I, I, I kept trying to bring up Chuck. I kept trying to say how good it was, and you just kept playing on your fucking phone. Didn't care what we were That's trying to do. That's so this. not Who true. Who picked up their phone 17 fucking times? <laughs> and they just kept doing this every time I was talking to keep <laughs> going on. <along laughs> I don't know what the fuck that means. Dude, the only time I looked at my phone one time. Since you're the fucking Chuck expert on it, I thought I'd bring something about Chuck. I thought maybe you could fucking. I don't Bring know. something about Chuck. Let's do an exercise. Bring something about Chuck. I brought up Matt Bomber ten times. Then I went to say what's the best thing to look forward to. I start talking about Scott Balky, you know, where the fuck his name is, and you're like, yeah, you know what? This is a dumb episode. That, sorry that's you exactly feel that what happened, okay? <laughs> fucking I don't even know what the fuck is saying now. <laughs> I was excited to talk about Chuck. Now I'm not excited to talk about Chuck. Now, now, now anything I say is gonna sound fucking stupid. Like what? Give us an example. I was gonna say how much I like the first episode. It's a really solid pilot, but that sounds fucking stupid to say now. <laughs> what's a good pilot though? And I can't remember the pilot in full detail because it was fucking last night and now today is today and I'm high right now. That was then, this is now. Yeah, and I can't remember all of it now. So I don't know what to talk about. You're so unfair. You're such a fucking jerk off sometimes. You give me all this fucking shit Dude. if I don't fucking respond exactly God, how you how need me to. how long has this been fucking waiting to get this cat out of the bag? It's like I fucking just, you know, a little a little, a little hole pop through. I put a little fucking, I'm like, oh, no, I, I stopped the leakage. And there's this boop, 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 boop. And just starts shooting every other direction. You're staring at me like, why are you talking? Why are you talking, Robbie? That's what your face says. Sounds a little whiny to me. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, now play with the wall. <laughs> We'll just, we just won't talk now. That's cool. I, well, again, I thought we had a nice It doesn't matter. Episode. Fucking, we're just going to lose views anyway. So fucking stop the episode. YouTube's I don't want to like, talk anymore. Um, you guys are getting a little bit of growth. Feeling a little, you guys feeling a little good about yourselves? You're getting a little marginal boost in your uh, viewership? <laughs> yeah. No, you don't get to have that. You, you, that's, you, don't, you don't deserve that. You get to have your views taken away from you. 
Yeah, it's really annoying, and it, ma- it makes uh, doing this whole talking thing not, not not as much fun. Not as much fun. Yeah, early, it's interesting, too, because when we were only getting, like, 10 views, I was like, all right, that's my we're only getting 10 views. Yeah. But now that we've been given the taste of the finer things in life, you know? No, 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 no. I'd be fine if it was still 10 views. The problem is when we got 10 views, the, we didn't also have five views it's three true. minutes later. It doesn't make sense at we all. Got I 10 go to bed, and, and it's like views. your video has 50 views. I'm like, all right, that's solid. And, and I wake and up, and it's like, yeah, you have 25 views. Oh, 25 new views? No. Mm-mm. No, 25 less views, actually. Yes. Those 25 people that li- watched it last, they decided they didn't watch it. <laughs> they, they unwatched and it. And then I looked it up, and it's like, the only two reasons that would be happening is if you're buying stuff, which, n- I would n- if I had that much money, I think, I think I'd think i be buying more than 20 views. Yeah. If I was able to just start, yeah, 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 yeah. start make, paying fake accounts. So that's not yeah, it'd it. It'd be weird to just arbitrarily stuff at 20 and exactly. be satisfied with that number. And it's like, how about this? How about you? It's just, it doesn't, I don't understand why they're doing it and why it started randomly. Maybe we have to go to the nerd herd. Maybe they can take a look at this. Maybe the nerd herd. Get back. Yeah, we'll see, what, we'll see what they're up to. Uh, they, honestly, the nerd herd's a better name than fucking the Geek Squad. And buy, buy a is mile. a better name than yeah. Best Buy. And Large Mart's actually way better than Walmart. Yeah, I don't know Large why. Mart's pretty funny good. To say. Sounds but like a the fun Buy place to More go. is definitely better than the Best Buy. Mm-hmm. And the green outfits are nicer than the blue outfits. And again, the nerd herd sounds so fucking like good. Who doesn't like a good rhyme? Exactly. Geek the, squad. The geek squad. You know, the only assholes are for themselves as a squad. And only assholes we do it for the squad. Geeks. Exactly. Geeks. I don't think a geek. I don't even necessarily think of a geek as being smart. Yeah, you geek. think of a nerd as being kind of smart. That's true. Geeks are just geeks. Be a geek. Exactly. They're fucking punchlines. They're not yeah, guys yeah. who want to touching my computer or fixing my phone. Bringing in. The, What's I, more I, love how, I love how back then Sarah walks in and the pilot's like. I need my Motorola flip phone fixed. And he's like, oh, yeah, just turn this one screw. Good to go. I'm like, that's interesting. So now you go in there and they make, yeah, it's supposed to be $900 for a new screen. My screen's not broken. We actually broke it when we were working on it. <laughs> and we actually ended up losing all of your history, erased all of your contacts. We somehow put you, like, you're back like four different iOSs now. You're, you're on like an iOS 9, which we didn't think they could op- run, run on these phones. But I don't know. Here you go. Here's, 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 here's here we fixed it. Actually, it's in worse condition now than when I uh, handed it to you in the first place. I came here because I said the 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 the, the, the headphone jack didn't work. wasn't working. Yeah, now my screen's the not headphone working. Jack, Robbie. <laughs> the headphone jack. Well, that was the problem I always had with my phones. The headphone jack always That's fucking. Why Apple crap got there. rid of the headphone jacks, dude. They were smart the whole time. It wasn't stupid to give you one fucking thing to plug into it. Even though apparently now I saw something the other day saying that they're playing, they're changing this now too. Yeah, because why would why would they, they, they just keep did it, it three same? years ago? Remember the old ones? Remember the old iPhone connectors with the yeah, two buttons right. on the side? Yeah. And the little and it was so they're so fragile and they could break so easily. Yeah, what a dumb fucking design too. You just press these two little plastic buttons in, and you can barely push them in. You just push them a little bit, and then these two little metal prongs that sticking out the corner are like kind of retract and then go back out into the phone. And then they made the updated version. And remember of once that. in a while you'd fucking you know you'd be so goddamn crazy and so such a lunatic and you know how dare you? You'd have the audacity to pick up your phone. And just go to unplug it, but then you you break everything. Oh, you have to press those two little plastic yeah. pieces into because it has to latch into the phone. So in the updated version of that, though, like three, four, five years later, they made the ones that didn't have the buttons. They just made the skinnier fucking like yeah. little ring version. But that thing was flimsy as shit. Had no break, support. Yeah, exactly. so that would break just as much as the original one. And then went to the lightning port because they thought, well, you know, I'd rather you know you go in a friend's car and they have a they have a they have a phone charger, mm. and you know every single phone minus the iPhone all uses the same exact charger. Mm. What if our phone had its own charger <laughs> that only it used? That's super convenient. Then it's really helpful for everyone. Then because then they have to keep buying our products all the time because Apple's fucking monsters. Yeah. So then we have to go buy that charge, and then now, and then, and then like, hey, you know that auxiliary jack thing that's been around since you know forever on everything? Mm. It's gone. We don't need it anymore. You know it's nonsense. You go to the Geek Squad. A, they never fix your problem. B, it's nine hundred dollars afterwards. C, they it's give you more name. problems. D. It's not a good name. You go to the nerd herd. You know what they do for you? You go to the nerd herd, right? And you realize, fuck, I can't get the playback on my camcorder right now. I was just at my daughter's ballet recital. My wife couldn't make it. Now I can't. I, I, what, I gotta go to the nerd herd. They're gonna take a look at this and they figure it out for me. Fuck, I didn't put the disc in. Tape. My wife's gonna be pissed. Dude. But it's digital. Yeah, it doesn't just you record still need then. A digital tape. You know what they do? The nerd herd, those 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 good jolly old sons of bitches. Of the nerd what herd. They do the nerd herd. They go into the cinema room. They put on a little little recital for the daughter. They record it, and they have the little TVs in the back all on. And it's just your daughter. She just has the spotlight. That's the kind of service you get. The nerd herd. That's true. Now that you know you fucked up by not having the memory be there in the first place. They made the memory even more special. 
Now instead of being some recital, it's these ugly ass girls, these these dumb girls. Like you're, you know, you're a fucking, you're you're you got your kids, right? Every other kid in there is ugly. Mm -hmm. Kids are annoying and bratty. Your kid, you're like, oh, look how awesome my kid is up there, the star of the show, right? What if you could have the recital without those annoying little shits there? Especially too, she said that she gets put in the back. Yeah. Back, she gets put in the back. Of she's the too fucking, tall. They said she's too tall. And you know something about ballerinas? Real ballerinas, they're tall. Are tall. Hundred percent, dude. That'd be way cooler. Honestly. That's the only thing I don't understand. Fucking a recital. It's like you gotta record other shitty kids and watch them do their dances exactly. and shit. You bring the camcorder because you want to see your kid. You don't want to see the other kids. Exactly. Fuck the other kids. The other Fuck kids are just in the way. Exactly. Don't what, care about them at all. And what's better? You have to go, where, where is Sally? I can't see Sally because this fucking ugly kid's in the yeah, way of this Sally. this giant head This loser. fucking stupid other kid's this in the geek. way of Sally. This now, absolute geek. <laughs> fuck these geeks. Let's go to the nerds. Now it's only Sally. Mm -hmm. Come, that's, that's kind of calling. You got to the, the, the buy more. You know what you do to buy more? You buy more. And what's guess, Best Buy? You, it's your best thing you're buying? You know what's also in every buy more? Good old Subway kiosk. That's true. I wish we were getting paid by Subway for that one. That would have been cool with our show. That would have been great since, you know, Chuck didn't have great numbers, so they wanted to cancel it. Now we suddenly don't have great numbers, so they probably want to cancel us. Maybe we should, maybe all our listeners should go buy a fucking $5 foot long and Subway be like, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. This podcast is generating five times six is three hundred three hundred dollars <laughs> with three hundred dollars of subway sandwiches because this podcast yo let's start sponsoring this fucking podcast yeah that uh that last thing with the whole jared that's, brothers that's yours that's the one where they well say fucking come and cunt in every other word what if subway's like that's kind of brand we want to get into <laughs> well our jared branding didn't work out honestly we yeah would. they should be fucking begging on that's another thing they should actually they should be we should they should be paying us at least six hundred dollars for that investment being like, you know what, well, guys, our our brand, we're kind of tarnished in the sense that the person we put, we, we put all, we bet all of our chips on black, and it turns out, in this case, black was a monster who touched kids and didn't actually, wasn't all that cool, actually. We didn't realize the fact that this guy was a total loser creep the entire time. We thought, because we thought it was just a really good story of him losing weight, using our, eating our food. So we never thought to look past that one part of it and say, is this the kind of person that we should be, you know, celebrating around having him be incorporated where we're going to release somebody's going to release a fucking comic book of nfl players where's michael strahan and a couple other friends who are all like we love subway and here's our best friend jared hey kids this is an american hero right here so then the kids who are reading the comic are like wow football players are american heroes and i guess jared from subway is an american <laughs> hero so then so essentially subway did a mass media marketing campaign to try to infiltrate every medium and make Jared come across like a lovable, affable guy. So it's, it's Which really make a means maybe they need to put their money into a podcast that says cunt, fuck, and come every five seconds. You know? Yeah, I think uh, that's a much better marketing avenue because we're we're with the... Uh, we're still talking. That's, that's good. Yeah, that's the, I, you know, I agree. I am going to stop talking. <laughs>